What's up guys? Uh, day one of working out at home. So we're going to go through basically a leg, leg and ab workout today. Uh, you don't need any equipment other than like something to sit on. Uh, you can use a chair, couch, whatever. Um, if you've got some equipment like bands or adjustable dumbbells or a kettlebell or a backpack you can load up with shit. Um, appropriately weighted dog or small child feel free to use those to make things harder or easier um, I mean none of those things are gonna make it easier but if you've got stuff that you want to use and make things more challenging feel free uh, but you shouldn't need anything to be able to complete what we're about to do uh, so first superset is going to be pistol squats to some sort of bench or some sort of thing uh, and I don't know what to call them, but knee to elbow ab crunches, and it's gonna go something like this. So when you're doing the pistol squat, don't set yourself too far away. If you go really, really close, and you find that you don't have the ankle range to get down to here without like falling, then you probably wanna give yourself like just a little bit of extra space, um, but finding the balance point of where to put your foot to allow you to control the whole thing, that's the name of the game. I don't want you falling to the box. I don't want you to come down and have to use momentum to come back up. We want to make this a controlled movement. So if I'm here, I land in whatever position I land in, but I've, I've controlled my way down, and then I'm going to push myself back up, keep my balance, control down, push up, control down, push up. I'm keeping the, the weight, the load here, the whole rep, not taking it off and then putting it back on. Okay. Uh, you'll usually have one foot that's good and one foot where the balance is a bit harder. That's normal. Uh, you usually want to do the worst one first just because you're fresher. Um, so it's going to be always going to have that one side that's a little crap and that's fine. That's normal. You do want the deficit between the two to be relatively minimal. So if you've got one really dodgy leg, you might have to set everything up so this might be higher to account for my weak side. That's fine, just do the same on both. So let the weak side guide what you do in terms of difficulty and everything. Because if you always have this one doing harder stuff, then it's always going to be stronger and better off. So you want this one to catch up, which means you've got to limit good side to what the bad side can do. So pistol squats, three by 16, that's eight and eight. So 16 total, eight on the left, eight on the right. So again, we want to come down, nice and controlled, back up. We're not falling and we're not swinging with momentum. We're just controlling the whole movement. Nice and easy. Do our 16 of those. And we're going to go into this knee to elbow ab crunch. This is pretty much what it says on the tin. The only real thing that I want you to keep in mind is if you can keep your shoulders off the ground the whole time. So I don't want to be laying down and going one back to the ground, two back to the ground. If I can, I'm going to stay up and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's okay to get this little bit of like rotation as you come through. I'm not just trying to go up and over like a bicycle crunch. I want to be sort of left to right. So one, two, three. So as I do my left side, I feel my left side. As I do my right side, I feel my right side. These are three by 20, and again, 10, 10, 20 total. So 10 on the left, 10 on the right. That's round one, three sets of each. All right, round two, super set number two. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is a Cossack squat, or you might know it as a side lunge. Uh, and we're also gonna do, again, I don't know what to call these, uh, like a plank hip side to side. I'll show you when we get there. Um, so 
Cossack squat, side lunge. I want these to be a dynamic thing that you flow from one to the other. So I don't want you to do one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I want you to do one, two, three, four, and so on. Um, so again, this is gonna be 16 reps, eight, eight, but because we're doing these one after the other, we're gonna end up doing 16 just in one hit. So it's not like the pistol squats where we're doing eight on one side, eight on the other side. We're just gonna flow through all 16. Now, Cossack squats, side lunges, um, they're really good for opening up the hip, doing some lateral movement that we very rarely get, doing squats and deads and all that kind of stuff. Um, they're gonna let you feel a few things that you don't necessarily get to feel with straight up and down training. Um, so adductors, a little bit of glute, you might feel like different parts of your quad depending on where you end up. Um, and you're gonna notice that flexibility and how you move around that flexibility plays a big role with these. So I'm gonna adopt, because I'm not that flexible, I'm gonna adopt a pretty wide stance here. Now, if I go to my right side, my left toes are gonna to end up pointing, so they'll be off the ground, and they'll be pointing up, okay? So as I go to my right, my left heel is the only thing on the ground, my foot's pointing up, and that's gonna let me really feel the adductors, the hamstrings, and it's gonna let me use my hip to sort of rotate into this right side. If I keep this foot down, and I just try and go that way, it's a, like I can still get pretty far, but if I let this move, I can get that last little bit of range. And that's what I want, because it lets me feel all the adductor, I can let me get that last little inch or two, okay? So as I said, we're gonna floss between the two. So play around a bit, find the stance that works best for you. As you do these, you should be able to keep the balanced side foot. So if I'm going to my right, my right is my stance foot where most of my weight is. That foot should be flat. So I shouldn't be coming up onto my toes and washing around. So find a stance that lets you keep that flat. If you're pushing the range too much, so I get to here, I don't really have any more, but I can push it and get this off the ground, then I've gone too far. And I'm loading stuff that, in a way, that isn't particularly balanced, not particularly stable. So I wanna keep my stance side fully flat, that whole foot just stay in contact with the ground. Uh, so we're gonna floss between the two. You might notice that as you start, you're a little bit stiff, a little bit cranky in some of these places. And then after maybe the first set, by the end of it, you'll feel that you've started to warm up. Second set comes around, you'll probably be able to get a bit further. Use that warming up, like take what's there. If it warms up and lets you push a bit further, go a bit further. Just make sure you're keeping that balance. So we're gonna point the opposite side toes up, keep this stance side flat, and we're gonna flow left to right, left to right, 16 reps total. So we're coming down, that's one. Two, it's three, it's four, and so on. If you want to make these harder, same with the pistols, you can hold onto something, backpack, kid, dog if it doesn't swim around. The world is your oyster. Pot plant. <laughs> um, so 16 of those total, eight and eight, but done in one smooth thing. Uh, now we're gonna to get to the side-to-side -side plank. Um, easiest way is gonna to be to show you. So we're going to get into our plank position and we're just going to dip our hips to the side. So we're pushing in, dipping one, dipping two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Okay, so just dipping off to the side. Nice and easy. Um, you're holding that plank the whole time. You do it, you're still breathing, not bracing as in, yeah, we still wanna breathe as we go. We're just using this stuff to control how we go. All right, those I believe, pardon me, are 12 total, so six and six, left and right. If you find that too easy, feel free to add a little bit of weight. Uh, sorry, a little amount of reps. So if you wanna make it 16 and 16 for the Cossack squats and the hip side to sides, feel free. All right, so three rounds of that, and then we're on to the last superset, the third superset. All right, so last superset, we have three sets of single leg glute bridge and then lying leg raises. Uh, so single leg glute bridges can be hard. If you can't do them single leg, 
just do them double leg. That's fine, that's all good. Again, if you've got weight, then you can add it to your hip to make the glute bridges harder. If you've got a band, you can like weight down so you're bridging into the band. Yeah, there, there's multiple options if you've got some sort of equipment at home. If you don't have equipment, then you can make it more challenging by going, if you're finding like double leg glute bridges are starting to get easy, go to a single leg. So now you're only doing one instead of two, bada boom, bada bing, it's harder. Um, so, single leg glute bridge, all we're gonna do, lay you down on the ground. So, if you, if you can't do a single leg, then the standard, you know, both feet on the ground, bridging up by sort of tucking your pelvis in, and then up is all good. If you can, we're gonna go just onto the one. So let's say I'm gonna bridge on my left, my right leg is gonna be straight. And then I'm just gonna do that same idea of tucking my pelvis to initiate with the glutes. And then I'm squeezing up, squeezing up. And I'm probably, if you can see it in the video, I'm bracing on my elbows a little bit, just so I don't slide around. And then when we switch, same thing. So my left leg is straight, my right leg is doing the push. Nice and easy. We're trying to squeeze the hip into extension. I don't know if I'm doing a particularly good job, uh, but so if we were doing a double leg, I don't want to finish like here where there's still this little dip. I want to get all the way up as if I'm trying to like hip thrust. Uh, so when I get to the single leg, same idea. You might not be able to do it, but the, the act of trying to push to that full range is very important. So I don't want to do these sort of lazy half rep ones. I want to always be pushing my hips as extended as I can get them every time. So that's the glute bridge. Uh, the lying leg raise, a couple of ways you can do these. So, the standard way we would do these in the gym, if you have a, a bench around. So if you've got a bench, you can grab the bench, pull yourself up, control down, up. And you're trying to get your knees to your chest. If we're doing them just on the ground, then we can still think about, the stability is the, the little bit harder thing because we don't have anything to grab. So if you've got like a, a couch or something, you can get underneath and sort of go that way. That's fine. So if you've got something that can give you stability, feel free to use it. Um, you can create your own stability and we're just gonna go up up. So you can see I'm trying to extend a little at the top. So I'm getting my knees to here. And then when I get to that position, I'm going to push up just to get that last little squeeze. I'm coming up. And that's it. So the control for these is trying not to drop your legs. Um, so you're squeezing your abs to bring everything up towards you and then on the way down It's not just a You're still trying to control that descent a little bit. It doesn't have to be a tempo like three seconds or anything uh, You just don't want them to be falling. Yeah, you're putting some measure of control on the descent. Okay um, when you're breathing so on the way towards me I'm breathing out And then as I'm getting long again, I'm breathing in to give myself some stability. So out, in, out, in. That's it. All right, so there are three supersets, um, three sets of each. I will post up the picture of the board and the link to the Google Sheet, that's the one, um, so that you can follow along with the sets and reps um, and you don't have to watch this video to figure it out. Uh, but hopefully 
this is at least somewhat challenging in terms of maybe balance, maybe it's movements you haven't done before. Um, if you find it too easy, again, be creative with what you've got at home. Um, you know, a thing of milk filled with water, like a milk carton, uh, you know, that's weight. Body doesn't know that it's not a dumbbell, not a barbell, only cares about load. So if you want to make the pistol squats harder, you've got dumbbells, kettlebells, two litre bottle of, you know, Pepsi or whatever, all of these things are usable. Uh, bricks and pavers from the backyard, whatever you want. So let me know how you go and stay tuned for workout two.